Hi everyone, this is Kyle Libby from Techplicity, and today we're going to be talking about getting your pictures from your digital camera onto your computer. Now, there are really three basic ways to do this, and we're going to start with the uh, first way right now. The first method of getting pictures from your camera onto your computer is to take the memory card from your camera. The memory card is again the little device that holds all of your pictures, essentially the, uh, the equivalent of film, and then plugging that card into your computer. Now, this method only works if your computer has what's known as a card reader. If your computer does have this, you'll see some very, very small slots, usually on the side or the front of your computer, and that's where you insert the card into. You'll have to have a computer made in the last couple of years, most likely, in order to have that feature, since it is somewhat new. The next method, the second method, is to take the card out of your camera, and then to plug that card into a special device known as a card reader. This is a small little device, just a couple inches wide, that has a bunch of different slots on it. And once you've plugged your card into that device, that device gets plugged into your computer. The third method is to take your digital camera and using what's called a USB cable, connect it to your computer. And this is the method we're going to be using for the purposes of this demonstration. I feel that this method is the easiest. If your camera supports this, I suggest that you probably use this method because then you don't have to worry about opening up the camera, taking the card out, you simply plug in the USB cable to your camera and then the other end to your computer. Now, most USB cables that come with digital cameras have two very different ends. There's a small end, and that's the end that plugs into your camera, and then there's a slightly larger end that has sort of a rectangular shape, and that's the end that plugs into your computer. So let's see how this all works. We're going to break this up into a couple of parts. This first part Basically, we're going to be looking at a method of putting pictures onto your computer using a program that should already be on your computer. In the next part, we're going to be talking about using a program called Picasa. So let's see how all this looks. So right here, you can see our desktop. And all I'm going to do is I'm simply going to plug one end of my USB cable into my camera and the other end into my computer. And it really doesn't matter which order you do it in. Some people actually leave their USB cable plugged into their computer all the time. So then all they have to do is just plug in the camera. Uh, it's really up to you. Now, as you can see, nothing is happening on our screen. So if you plug in your camera and you don't see anything happen in a, a few seconds, uh, turn your, your camera on. Some cameras will automatically turn on when they're connected to a computer. Others you have to turn on manually. So I'm just going to press the power button of my camera. And what should happen is your computer should bring up a little window right here. And basically what the computer is doing is asking us what we want to do with this camera. And it gives us three different, essentially, tools to let us do something with those pictures. So we have these three different options right here. And I'm going to be using the second option, which says Microsoft Scanner and Camera Wizard. And right beneath that, it says Download Pictures from a Camera or Scanner. So that's what we want to do. Since it's highlighted in blue, you can see that blue box around it. I'm just going to click OK. Now what's going to happen is something called a wizard is going to come up on your screen. You can think of a wizard basically as a set of virtual instructions. So right here it's telling us that this is going to help us get pictures from our camera onto our computer. And generally with a wizard, in the bottom right hand corner of the window that comes up, you'll have a few different buttons. And one of those buttons, as you can see right here, has a blue border. That's usually the button that you should press to continue on to the next step. So you can sort of think of this as turning a page in an instruction manual. It's giving you instructions, you read those instructions, and then you click next to go to the next page. So I'm going to click next. 
And here are the pictures on my camera. Right now I have seven. And you'll notice that down here there are two little buttons with arrows. This one says rotate clockwise. This one says rotate counterclockwise. So if you need to rotate a picture, you can actually do that right from here. Since you can see what the pictures look like, in this case these are pictures of a hawk that I took, if you see a picture that you don't like and you don't want that to go onto your computer, you can simply check on the box right here so the check disappears, and then that picture won't be included when you bring it over to your computer. Uh, in this case I do want all the pictures, so I'm going to leave that checked. And the last major important section of this page is the button that says next. So again, it's just like the previous page. Once you look through, everything looks right. Then you just click next to go on to the next step. Right here, you have to give a name for these pictures. So you can see right here that the name Hawk Pictures is already typed in for me. Uh, that's because I already brought these pictures in previously, uh, but generally what you would do is just type in a name. So let me create a new one here. I'll just type in Hawk. And beneath that it tells you that it's going to save this group of pictures to your My Pictures folder. And then within that folder you're going to have another folder called Hawk. And so you can think of this sort of like almost hanging file folders. You can put one folder within a folder. Right now we're going to have a folder called Hawk, which is contained within the My Pictures folder. And you can change that if you want, but that's usually the best place to put your pictures. You'll notice right below that it says delete pictures from my device after copying them. One of the nice things about digital cameras is that you can reuse your memory cards over and over. It's not like film where you can only use it once. And once you've brought your pictures onto your computer, you now have a, a safe copy of them somewhere, so you don't really need to keep them on your camera anymore. So if you want to get rid of them to free up space so you can take more pictures on that card, you can just check that box and it's going to delete all the pictures once they've been copied onto your computer. So right now I'm actually going to leave that unchecked though. But if you do want them deleted, you would just click on that. And then I'm going to click Next. Right here it shows us the progress of each picture. So here are the pictures that are being brought in on the right hand side. This process is known as importing. A lot of people refer to taking pictures from their camera onto their computer as downloading, uh, but really the a correct term, the more correct term, would be importing. So we just imported those pictures onto the computer. Now we have a few different options here. I can actually put those pictures onto a website. I can order prints of them. Um, but for right now, I'm pretty happy, so I'm just going to leave this option that says I'm finished working with these pictures checked, and then click Next. So now it says that seven pictures were copied, and then I'll click Finish. And usually what will happen is you'll see the folder that we just created called Hawk, which you can see up in the top left-hand corner. It automatically opens. If I make this a little bigger, I can actually see the pictures. So if I double-click on this picture, for example, I can see it a little larger there. To get to these pictures without um, going through that process again, so once they're on the computer, obviously you need to be able to know how to find them. So to get to this place again, all you need to do is click on Start, and then my pictures. Again, that's where the sort of the big folder that contains all the other folders is contained. So my pictures. And then there's the folder we just created called Hawk. And if I double click on it, I can see those pictures. So that's how you take photos from your digital camera and put them onto your computer using the program that should already be on your computer. Again, we used the method where I just connected the digital camera directly to my computer using a USB cable. In the next section, we're going to be going over using a special program called Picasa uh, to do the same thing. So thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.